What's going on guys? Today we're going to be making a throttle cable bracket for the E240. So what I mean by that is we have this aftermarket, really it's an eBay upper intake manifold for the RB20 and we've got the dual cam KA throttle cable. So we've got the long, the longer one, the one that's for the swap and it tucks nicely behind there. Everything's good, it runs into here. The only problem is this guy is in the wrong spot. It needs to be more like up there. So we just got to get a bracket to go from here over and up to hold this. So it keeps that where it needs to be. So we will have a working gas pedal. And we're just gonna drill into here and pull. Or actually we don't might not even need to do that boys. We might be able to just find a bolt that could fit through there. Put a nut on the other side, put a lock washer and call it good. So looks like that's what we're going to do. In case you're interested, you have this manifold um, and you want to do this, you want to bolt it that way. This bolt is quarter inch thread. So just find a quarter inch thread bolt and it'll slide right in there like money. Right here is our bracket that we're going to have. I got it cut to as skinny as I want it to be. So we just got to do a little slot for the throttle cable to fit in. And then we're gonna have to end up bending it so it kind of like wraps up and around. And then we could put the bolts on in there. All right guys, we got her on, got this guy tightened. Tightened the throttle cable. Got it tucked down because it wants to sort of do that and that's not okay. So we just kind of just like tuck it there and call it, call it good. So now let's test the gas pedal and see if she works. So we got a working gas pedal boys. So that is one step closer to getting this going. We still got a lot more to do but that is a crucial component. We can't really drive it without a gas pedal. So yeah, now I'm just gonna paint it the same color as the intake, just so it looks a little better. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. You just bend that piece. It's approximately five inches. Start, start with five inches and then bend it in like this weird kind of hook shape. And you gotta have this like kind of slanted to where it's pointing down. Otherwise it doesn't really want to grab. Yeah, and then uh, like I said, a quarter inch thread bolt, which would be a 7 16 size nut, would uh, fit onto there. And I got a lock washer on both sides because I didn't want to put a regular washer and it works. They, they, they work. So as you guys saw, the gas pedal works. So that is good. So we are one step closer to getting it running. A couple of things we need to sort out first, like the ECU, that's the big one. But now we are moving in the right direction to hopefully getting this car running within the next month and a half, two months. And that'll be running with no tune. That's not counting the dyno tune. That's, that's gonna be a whole nother thing that probably take a little bit longer. But yeah, I hope this video helped. If you have an RB20 with the upper intake manifold off eBay or wherever that looks similar to the one I have, hope this helps. There isn't really a video out there. There's just people showing you what it, the after product looks like. So I tried to help a little bit. Again, just get like five inch piece of flat bar and you gotta bend it in like weird angles and then you gotta get a quarter inch bolt to bolt it to there and then you'll be good. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you did, comment down below, check out the other videos on the RB20 S13 and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.